When we talk about buffer systems, there are two key factors that affect how well they work. First, it's about the ratio of concentrations of the buffering components. Second, it comes down to the total number of moles of those components that are actually present in the solution. Let's start with the ratio. You might remember the henderson hasselbalch equation, which goes pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of conjugate base divided by the concentration of the weak acid. Now here's the interesting part. If the concentrations of the weak acid and its conjugate base are equal, the log term becomes zero. That means the pH is exactly equal to the pKa of the acid. This is when the buffer works best, when that ratio is balanced at one to one. But buffers aren't just on or off. There's a range where they work well, and that happens when the ratio of the concentrations of the buffer components is somewhere between 0.1 and 10. In pH terms, this means the buffer is effective when the pH is within one unit of the pKa. So, anywhere from minus one to plus one. If the ratio drifts too far outside that range, such as if there's way more conjugate base than acid or vice versa, then the buffer loses its effectiveness. It just can't resist pH changes as well anymore. So ideally, to keep your buffer most effective, you want the concentration ratio to stay close to one to one. The second part is about how much of the buffer components you actually have. And here, we're talking moles, not just concentrations. Let's say you've got two buffer solutions. Both have the same one-to-one -one ratio of HA to its conjugate base. So they start with the same pH. But in one solution, you've got five moles of each component. In the other, only one mole of each. Even though the pH is the same at the beginning, these two buffers will behave very differently once you start adding acid or base. The buffer with more moles can neutralize a larger amount before the pH starts to change. That's because buffer capacity depends on how many moles of the buffering agents are available to react. If you keep adding strong base, eventually you'll use up all the HA, and once it's gone, there's nothing left to neutralize any more base. At that point, the buffer breaks down, and the pH will rise sharply. The same goes for adding too much acid. Once the conjugate base is used up, the buffer can no longer neutralize added acids and the pH drops quickly. We use concentration ratios to figure out what pH the buffer will hold, and we use moles to understand how much added acid or base the buffer can handle while keeping that pH stable. But remember, whenever you're using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, you must always work in concentrations, not moles.